uh, thinking about the rural voters in your district that you represent that uh, aren't getting much of a voice now? Well, I think in voters in my district, it would not hurt. As you look at the map, Illinois for the last several elections has been consistently a blue state. Um, consistently voted for Democrats. And a lot of my rural voters, they don't hear from candidates. Their vote, you know, if they're Democrats or Republicans, feel their vote doesn't matter all that much throughout the country. And I think too many voters are disenfranchised. They don't feel that there's, their vote really matters because the candidates aren't coming to their state. They're not speaking to them. And that's not just a problem for the presidential race, but I think it has real problems uh, down the ballot. Uh, when we're discouraging people to come out to vote for president, the, the race that generally gets them excited. A lot of college students. How do uh, how you found college students typically respond to the idea of the electoral college? Well, I think they respond with confusion. Uh, when they do understand it, uh, they think that it's a way of disenfranchising them, uh, that it's not a fair way of electing a president. You know, these kids, uh, they're savvy, uh, but they under, also understand the same thing the Supreme Court does. There's one person, one vote. Um, and that everyone should have the same voice when electing a president.